Here's a little update on some of those projects I talked about in my last two videos on Bakelite and removing rust from chassis. First up, here's that Motorola Bakelite chassis. It was uh, really rough and faded in my earlier video. What I did is about 15-20 minutes of polishing with uh, soft scrub and washed it down and then same thing with Brasso, washed it down and then finally Novus number two. The Novus I only did on the front edge and I think you can clearly see where I've used the Novus number two and not. It's still not perfect but uh, it's considerably better than it was before. Uh, so I think a couple more hours of polishing. I still have a lot more to do on the sides and I'll be in real good shape on that. Here's the cab, the, uh, the radio case that I was stripping that uh, white paint off of. Uh, it took about four days, but uh, just about done. Only a few bits of paint left in some of the nooks and crannies. Uh, it's, it's, it's quite a pain to uh, get all this out. I'll use toothpicks, toothbrushes, uh, whatever it takes. Unfortunately, once the paint's removed, it was pretty obvious that some of it, it's not a nice smooth finish underneath. So there's no way I could just leave this untreated. So I'm going to be repainting it white, uh, probably a couple coats of primer, and then a, two or three coats of finish, and then maybe a clear coat of lacquer or two after that. Once the weather gets warmer, I'll do some videos on painting, I think. Here's that Filco 3810 chassis I was working on. If you recall, I, uh, the transformer lid, the paint was peeling and it was kind of rusty. And I'd like it to look like this one, which is in really good shape. So I stripped all the paint off. So just like that uh, Hippo case, I'm going to be uh, doing a couple coats of primer and a couple finish coats. Here's the chassis itself. Now I pretty much had removed all this rust a few years ago, but when I did it initially, I didn't remove the tuning capacitor. Well, this time around, I'd, I feel more comfortable working on these sets and more confident to be able to put it back together properly. So I went ahead and took it off and removed the last few traces of rust. Uh, I think I mentioned in the last video, once I do that, I like to take a little WD-40 and give it a spritz and then wipe it down with a non-conductive abrasive pad. Actually, I should say, I wouldn't shoot the WD-40 right onto the chassis, shoot it onto the pad first. And then go over the chassis. And you'll see pretty quickly that removes any remaining residue and leaves you with a nice shiny case and then wipe it down after the fact and uh, you want to leave a little film with WD-40 because it will inhibit the rust from coming back. It may be a little splotchy. I think that's partly because there was a cadmium plating on this possibly or there are several maybe uh, coatings of, uh, of I don't, this wasn't chrome plated but maybe there was zinc or just the nature of the steel and uh, the areas where I had the most rust are somewhat discolored from the other areas. Maybe if you, with enough rubbing you can make this all look uniform or possibly you might want to paint it with something like Hammer Tone which is a finish you see in a lot of old equipment that, like this where it's kind of almost like a metal metallic flake finish. You can get it in several colors but this is the standard gray. You can get that at hardware stores typically and it just goes on like regular spray, spray paint and uh, when it dries you get this nice crackle finish. I guess I would recommend that especially for chassis that are really rusted and pitted. But this one isn't too bad so I'm just going to leave it, like, leave it alone like this. And I think that's it for now other than a little sneak preview of something I have coming up. Underneath that blanket is a, uh, a new treasure I just found a couple nights ago. I went out into the freezing cold of Chicago onto the south side and found this in a basement. I'll record a separate video for that. You just have to wait, sorry. <laughs>